Well, hey there. How are you? So, if you've been following my channel for a while, you may have noticed that uh, I had some recent success. Uh, videos done particularly well. Subscriber growth has been amazing. Thank you to everybody who has uh, introduced yourselves and come along. But someone commented to me privately about how this is an amazing amount of success and I'm on my way to fame. Well, I want to talk about that a little bit because I think you're making a mistake if you're putting success and fame in the same category. So it's no surprise that people who create things like entertainment content, be they YouTube creators, artists, actors, musicians, somewhere deep down inside, they have a desire to be seen, gain recognition, gain acceptance and praise for the work that they do. Some people get into creating because they want to be famous. I'm not gonna lie, pretty much from the age of 14, I thought I was gonna be an actor. I thought I was gonna be a musician. Generally speaking, you need a little bit more talent than I have to be a musician. 10 years ago, I thought I was gonna be a radio personality. I'll openly admit that last year, I thought I'd take a crack at getting YouTube famous. But while that initial draw to the idea of getting famous may be something that motivates some artists and creators to do their thing, there are just as many folks out there that are so passionate about their art that fame is not the driving factor. Yes, they want recognition, of course. They want their work to be seen and appreciated. But there's plenty of folks that want nothing to do with bright lights, spotlights, millions of people, and the stress and pressure that come with fame. So the comment I got about me getting famous over this video of Puddle's Pity Party was one sort of catalyst for this conversation here. Folks that are out there creating, ostensibly looking for fame, kind of drove me to this conversation as well. Now look, I've done two videos talking about Puddles the Clown. I'm not going to do another one right now. Has he ever really found true fame? Well. His fans will say yes, but I'm sorry to say that the vast majority of America never heard of this guy until he hit the America's Got Talent stage, present company included. Does that mean he's not successful? I don't think so. I think he's very much successful. He is a focused, driven artist, takes his crap seriously, and has made something out of it. This moment in time happens to be the first blip on the radar in terms of fame for Mike Geyer and Puddle's Pity Party. Let's use a different example. My wife is an ardent fan of a band called Shaman's Harvest. They're a good band. They've had, at this point, probably three number one hit type songs on rock charts. So listen, if you're out there listening to hip hop, R&B, Justin Bieber, pop music, you're never gonna have heard of these guys. They had a hit song about 10 years ago, they had another hit about three years ago, and the song they've got out right now is doing fairly well on the rock charts. This group of guys has been out there on the road for 20 years. We recently went to one of their shows out in Syracuse, and I got to talk to them a little bit about what it's been like to be out there, plugging away, playing shows, night after night, touring around the country for 20 years. They've never reached the kind of recognition or status that a band like Metallica has or even bands in their category, like maybe Breaking Benjamin. But does that mean that this group is not successful? Of course not. To have the staying power, to be out there on the road, continuing to create new music, put out new albums, get picked up by labels, get booked for shows, open for bigger bands, and yeah, occasionally have a song that hits the charts. That, to me, sounds like success. It's not too hard to find a working definition of the idea of success, but even I'll admit, as a creator, whatever happened to the idea of wanting to find that fame? What's that line between recognition as a measure of success and recognition as, wow, you're famous now? my mind, I go back to the idea of pressure and stress. Being successful isn't easy, 
I think being famous is even harder. With success, you've got the pressure you're putting on yourself. Maybe it's the pressure of providing for a family or trying to support a career. Even though you're not looking to get famous, you still have an expectation to be successful in your art. When I think about the concept of fame, my brain instantly goes to that flash in the pan, 15 minutes, overnight success. It doesn't last for some, not for many. I guess at some point this can turn into kind of a circular, which came first, the chicken or the egg kind of argument. Kind of leaves you scratching your head. Work hard at being successful at what you do. If your goal is really to be famous, then like I said, work hard to be successful at what you do. In the end, I think that fame is a side effect of success. Not all medications will have side effects. Not all side effects are desirable. But if you're a creative person, then I guess that's just a pill you hope you get to swallow. If you are new to the channel, thanks for taking the time to hang out with me today. I hope this made some kind of sense. If you dig what I do, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and coming along on the channel. For everybody who's recently subscribed, thank you so much, and I'm glad to see you're still here. Having a bad week and need a little pick-me-up? Click on this video here for a little motivation. If you want something a little different, maybe a video about my favorite drink in the whole world, coffee, click right here. And until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the road.